office. I am typically a student in Boston in person on campus. Due to the pandemic, I am doing all remote learning online from an apartment in New Jersey, living with my boyfriend. So in this apartment, we had this space that I'm in right now, but it didn't look like this when I was moving in. So yeah, let's just, let me show you how I made this space into my office. Today is Sunday. And I am thinking about tackling a task that I've been putting off for the month and a half that I've been in this apartment. I am going to turn our little den that we've been using for storage into an office space. School is gonna start in about a week and I don't really have anywhere to do work except for the same little table that we've been using to eat and do literally everything because it's the only furniture basically that we have. So let me show you what it looks like right now like literally just piles of crap i am going to try to clean out most of it today and then i'm gonna have to find some furniture pieces for it hopefully for cheap on a facebook marketplace i almost fell because i'm not gonna be here for that much longer only like two and a half months so i don't want to buy anything expensive so yeah i just gotta figure out where to put all this stuff I accidentally deleted the footage of all this, but I cleaned, found furniture, and got a new table. So, so I got a table for the office. Um, it's in two pieces currently because we had to deconstruct it to get it into the car. I bought it for $35 off of Facebook Marketplace. It's originally an Ikea table, um, and now I have to put it together. Um, so, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, okay, let's see. Should I call my dad? I don't know what I'm doing. Got it. I don't know how frick I'm supposed to do that. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. I did it. Now what? Mm, okay, let's figure it out. Alright, so I've already stationed my switch here, so that's good. Let's see what else I've got. Alright, so I've got these colored pencils that I want to be on my desk. They are in some pasta jars. If you're a broke college student and you want to have like, you know, cute mason jars to fill stuff up with. Save your money, don't go out to go buy those mason jars and instead use empty pasta jars. And you know, it would be cuter if you like removed the label. I have this small little container tray that I got from Target. And I think I'm gonna put pens in this one as well. I honestly kind of just like threw everything into the corners, but it's fine. It's so I've got most of my stuff onto the table now. It looks pretty decent, but I want to make this wall into like a filming corner right here. I ordered this thing online. Let's see how it actually works. So it's this like ivy partition. <gasps> and it stretches out like, well, this. It's shorter than I thought it was because they have like pictures online where you like put it outside and like can use it in your yard. Cute! And I want to put it like on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna need to get command hooks to hook this up. So I was also thinking I could hang up like Polaroids on this too. I don't know if that would make it too busy or not, but I also bought clothes pins for like hanging up photos and some LED lights. So yeah, now this is my office space. I'm very happy about the table. It's huge and I have so much space to put all of my stuff very spread out and wide. So school doesn't actually start until Wednesday. So I thought I would start this video by showing you how I'm preparing for the semester. I'm not a pro with online classes. I really don't think that this is the environment that I thrive in. So it's really like up to me to be able to create a space that I can really thrive in. So I like to print my syllabi because when I have it physically sitting at my desk, it reminds me in a way that a file tucked away onto my laptop would not. It just brings awareness, which I really like. So, you know, I've been thinking about how like, all right, are we actually gonna get dressed for school? Like, how is this gonna work, right? I'm gonna be dressing comfy most days. So like, I'm gonna be wearing sweatshirts, hoodies, graphic tees, whatever, most days. How do I still make myself feel and look presentable? Here is the secret that I have recently unlocked. The power of jewelry. Okay, you see right now, I have these cute little earrings, which I'll show you where they're from in a second. You see, if I didn't have these earrings on or this necklace, you know what, let me just like strip a little so I can show you. Look at how much less I just, it looks like I put in no effort. 
which I didn't. But then you put on jewelry and you still didn't put in a lot of effort, but it looks like you did, right? So my back to school shopping has consisted of buying jewelry. I bought some new earrings from Enroute Jewelry. Y'all, okay, I did a little haul. I'll, sh I'll show you that right now. Cute, right? Okay, so these are, I've got them here. So the earrings that I had on were the collab with Best Dressed. They're these safety pin earrings. They're so cute. They have a little pearl at the bottom there. These are a perfect like every day because you see how they're just kind of like long enough the perfect length, but they're not as dramatic as hoops. And then these ones, the rainy cloud earrings, these ones I really like to wear with my hair up because they just like dangle a little and they're very, very cute. It's a little hard for them to show up on the camera, you know, for Zoom, but like when you have your hair up, you just give them the spotlight to get the attention that they deserve because these earrings are incredibly cute, incredibly cute. And then the last pair, the flower ones. Oh, I love them to death. They're so freaking cute. These I really like to put on when you're having just like a simple hoodie day. Like not even this hoodie where, you know, I can do a little, little shoulder action, but like a big drawstring hoodie, you know? I like to wear these earrings with them because the hoodie itself is just so like drab but when you have kind of more of a statement earring, but not too statement, right? Like we're not getting crazy here, but there's definitely a statement a little. They just really take the look up a notch. It's crazy. I always wore earrings, but I never really understood how much of a difference they made, except for maybe hoops. I always knew hoops were powerful, right? So these ones I have are plain big gold hoops from Target. They're not heavy, but they definitely feel sturdy. Whereas some hoops seriously can feel so cheap on your ears. They got a little weight to them. Very cute, right? They just really are like, I'm not here to fuck around. I'm here to get good grades. Guys, I'm so excited for school to start. I'm always like the type to be like, I can't wait for school to start. Okay, but if you're not looking for like crazy earrings all the time, these are my go-to every day. So they're from Target. They come in a set of a small hoop and a bigger hoop. And they look really good if you have triples. So like on my third, I just put in a little stud and then I put the smaller one in my seconds. And then do you see how just they stack so well, especially with my cartilage, which is also like a gold hoop. Invest in some earrings and you can like literally wear anything and you still look great. I mean, you always look great, but you just look a little bit more put together. Like I woke up a little early, a little bit early to put myself together, which I definitely think that like we should all put in the effort to get ready in the mornings because it's good to have that divide of I'm in bed, I'm in school. You might be doing school in bed, but you know, put a little mascara on if that's your thing or eyeliner, eyebrows, whatever your thing is. You know, pick like three makeup items that you're like, okay, these are my essentials and I'm gonna put them on to make myself feel a little bit more put together. You could keep your comfy clothes on or you could just, you know, switch out your pajama pants for maybe like biker shorts or sweatpants. Put some earrings on. Just make that mental divide. You don't even have to look banging. You just, it's for yourself. It's really like, okay, I didn't just roll out of bed because if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to focus in my class and I would still be relaxing and not paying attention. You know what I mean? Okay, I've done a lot of talking sitting here. Let's carry on with the vlog. Just went to Trader Joe's. Let me do a quick grocery haul. I got a tomato, arugula, some pasta, sugar for my coffee, some lemon hand soap, avocados, some garlic, bag of oranges. I got this congrats card. I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for, but I pretty much buy every single Boston Terrier card that I see. Got these savory thin mini crackers, some ciabatta rolls, got some brie cheese, some Colby Jack sliced cheese, brownie cookie brookie little things. They look really good. And dark chocolate almond almond buttercups. Most importantly, we got Trader Joe's vegan pesto. This is my favorite pesto. It's so good. It is the day before school starts. I just slammed through the sandwich that I had for lunch. I used this 
This is the Heinz Mayo Racha. You may have seen this because a lot of YouTubers right now are being sponsored by Heinz to like show these new sauces that they have that are like mixtures of stuff. So they have this one, there's like a ranch and ketchup one, there's like a honey sriracha one. So I bought this one because I was looking for chipotle mayo for my sandwiches and this was the best thing that I could find. Sriracha mayo and chipotle mayo are not the same thing and chipotle mayo is by far better. It was actually pretty good, the mayo racha from Heinz. Um, unfortunately, this is not sponsored by them, but not yet. We'll get there. <laughs> I'm having my coffee now. I don't always have my coffee in the morning. Sometimes I have it after lunch because that's when I feel the least productive. So I just took a photo for this article where I wrote a submission about my YouTube channel. Um, my friend actually asked me if I would write something for them. I said yes because I wanted to support. They're called Young Buddhist Editorial. They have an Instagram and a website. I think, I don't know if they have more, but um, I do not identify as Buddhist, but some people that I know run this editorial and I think it's super awesome. It's beautifully designed. So I wanted to support. It felt a little silly writing it because I'm writing, you know, like, oh, I make YouTube videos. And at the moment where we are right now, it's not a super big YouTube channel or anything like that. And I feel like I've always been so ashamed of wanting to do YouTube that like I'm at the point where I'm finally like being consistent with uploading that I'm just like, whatever, screw it. I'm gonna write this article. Like, I'm like happy that I was like at the point where I could be like, whatever, I don't care to like write that because I used to be so in my mind about this kind of stuff. So my plans for today are to kind of get settled and ready for school to start tomorrow. I don't actually have, oh, I do have a class tomorrow, but it's late in the day. It's Thursday that I have my 8 a.m. that I'm kind of nervous for. I got these stickers from the Asian market and it's this little like grumpy little duck. It's so cute. I think I'm gonna put it on my notebook. I'm gonna put it on my journal notebook. Let's talk about journaling. I bullet journaled last year and this year I didn't bullet journal. Um, and it was because I found that bullet journaling for like keeping a planner was really hard because it definitely forces you to like keep up with it, but also like you can't really like put in like future dates. So it wasn't the most practical, but I had so much fun keeping a bullet journal because it really forced me to be creative and gave me this wonderful creative outlet that didn't stress me out. I'm not the best at drawing and doing art doesn't always like bring me peace but i've always really liked lettering and so most of my bullet journaling was just lettering and really not that many like artistic whatever but anyways what's my point i think i want to start bullet journaling again maybe especially for like content and i can absolutely show you guys my bullet journal from last year it's very not perfect which I think could be kind of cool to show because a lot of like bullet journal flip throughs are like, look at this amazing, perfect notebook. And it's just like, realistically, I have a bunch of pages that are empty and like not filled out at all. And that's the reality of like keeping a bullet journal. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see like bullet journal content because I definitely would love to do that. Yeah, I've just been like literally brain dumping pretty much for journaling in this notebook and it's been working pretty well for me. It doesn't bring me as much joy as it does to like maintain a pretty bullet journal, but it's helped me to really let go and just like write and not care about the outcome of what it looks like or sounds like. I used to buy a ton of stickers and I could not get myself to like actually use them and the fact that I'm like tearing through this sticker sheet right now and just randomly placing it on my notebook is true growth for me. This literally seems like the smallest little thing, but like right now I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> I love this little guy. He's so grumpy, just like me. So my plans are to start weekly vlogging about being in school and just like, you know, what I'm up to. Just because those are the kinds of videos that I like to film the most and I feel like for the past month or two i was like trying to film videos that might help me you know find growth but i wasn't really like making videos that i necessarily wanted to be creating so i'm really 
excited to start vlogging again because this is what feels most natural for me and i just want to like you know when i have topics i want to talk about to talk about them like i'm doing right now i'm so happy i'm actually using these stickers and not like preserving them for a future date that never comes like when i'm home i would love to show you guys like the giant manila folder i have of stickers that i've accumulated literally from like kindergarten that i just don't use because i'm like I need these stickers, but I absolutely cannot get myself to actually use them. Of course, that totally makes sense, right? This is like the first time in my life ever that I've gone through a whole sticker sheet, especially like in one sitting. Wow. And there you have it. Here's my journal. Maybe I'll get like a white paint marker and like kind of draw in between the things. Let's see. Done, done. Done. Okay, now I'm gonna start chugging some dates into my planner. 